worry about equality. Back in the 1960s, before Title IX mandated gender equality in athletic programs, Arkansas made little room for girls' sports. It took the sacrifice, moxie, and pioneering efforts of players and coaches like Betty Wallace to create change and pave the way for Arkansas girls to compete on a level playing field. Here's their story. Betty Wallace is a legend. When I was little, I always wanted a basketball, but my mother never would let me have one because she was afraid I'd want to play when I growed up. Little did she know that I would end up teaching P.E. I attended Malvern High School, and I was a very shy, skinny little kid, and I was good at my hook shot. We didn't have a, a basketball team, the sports, because there was no Title IX money at that time. She would form basketball teams between the classes. In Arkansas, the only thing for girls is competitively was basketball. The girls played in cutoff blue jeans, and for numbers, we used pennies that the PE classes used. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I couldn't walk and chew gum at the same time. I was not an outstanding athlete. But Coach Walsh treated me just like she did any of the others. To her, it really didn't matter that I was not one of the starting players. I wanted somebody who wanted to come to Henderson to get an education and to play volleyball or tennis. I wanted someone who had the initiative to come here. We would go to other schools. We slept on the gym floor on mats because we didn't have the money for hotels. And then we'd play all day. And then maybe the next week, they would come down to our school and we'd do the same thing. She and three other coaches brought those things together and they created an organized sports association. And this was the, um, was the precursor to women's athletics in the state of Arkansas. We started working on writing a constitution and bylaws, sent it to every college in Arkansas, regardless of size. And that's how it all got started. We had an organization here in Arkansas before there was one nationally for women. The year that we were third in the region, they got in a huddle and hollered, we are Betty's Reds. And they said they knew they weren't in trouble when they heard my infectious laugh. We have a group called Betty's Reds. We all played some type of sport for her. We did everything we possibly could do that would help tell people about Betty, her legacy, and what she meant to the women in sports in Arkansas. I was out mowing the yard. Woody Jolly came by, who is on the board of the Arkansas Sports Hall of uh, Fame. Well, the light came on, and I called and said, I know what's going on. We were very happy to celebrate her as one of the newest inductees in the Arkansas Sports Hall of Fame. They're good kids. They were good kids. They're good ladies now. They had respect for me and I had respect for them. So last April, I got installed in the Arkansas Sports Hall of Fame. And I was very pleased. And I know that my kids are the ones that got me there. March is Women's History Month and the perfect time to celebrate Betty Wallace and her groundbreaking efforts. Moving on, 